Let's start with what is the ARC endpoint sensor and why do we do it? So the, the ARC endpoint sensor, Nozomi Network's ARC endpoint sensor, it's the latest cool toy out of our engineering and product departments where we're now able to provide um, deeper insights and better visibility at the endpoint level and detect malicious or compromised endpoints and insider attacks through user actions. We did this to extend the capability of, of our Nozomi Network's um, ecosystem, the whole family of tools, right? We're able to bring some of the features of the Guardian sensor down to an endpoint, and then on top of that, add some other features such as Sigma rules and USB monitoring, and make just get that, that deeper level of visibility and understanding right down there at the endpoint level within your network. Okay, here we see an ARC architecture diagram. Um, and you can see there's a Guardian sensor here, and, and that Guardian sensor is communicating with Vantage, um, upstream with Vantage, and downstream it's got a switch. Off that switch towards the, uh, the bottom of the screen, just up there a bit, um, or up there a bit, you can see some remote collectors connected to um, PLCs and, and OT devices. And then sort of maybe just up there and a little bit to the right of the screen, you can see some arc sensors that are connected or they're running on, on endpoints. Then towards the top of the screen here, you're going to see two arc sensors that are working with endpoints and connected directly to Vantage. So it's really flexible depending on your environment. But the Arc Sensor, as I said before, it extends capabilities that the Guardian has and pushes them down at the endpoint level. So you're seeing things a lot closer to the source. You can see a lot more detail. Um, and it's it's light touch. It's super light touch. The whole thing is like 100 meg on disk and, and 80 meg of RAM when it's running. It's nothing. It, it's teeny tiny compared to, to what will be running on the workstation um, under normal conditions. What about some use cases and some uh, some deployment scenarios? So how about um, continuous monitoring of employee mobile devices when they're off the corporate network? Um, you can have Arc sitting there running separate, and when they come back to the corporate network, we can connect and, and transfer that data. You've got the ability to incorporate um, air gap devices into the Nozomi Networks ecosystem and, and be able to query and understand what's happening on those endpoints. You've got the deeper intelligence and insight on, on your critical endpoint devices. You're just going to see that much more. It's going to be that much better. Um, continuous monitoring of endpoints. If, if that works in your environment, you can run this continually. But remember, like I said earlier, if continuous isn't an option, why not those one-shot runs during maintenance shuts or at times when you can do it? You're going to collect more information that way, um, and you're going to get a better view of your, of your assets overall. Automated deployment, good lord. Um, it's actually a really cool deployment system, uh, and when it's properly set up, you can do it. It's it's automated. It's very neat, and why not across thousands of devices? Why not? It can work. It can be done. Um, and it's very low impact, right? I said again, uh, I said earlier, you know, uh, 100 megs on disk, 100 megs in RAM, job done. Um, and it just sits there and runs, and you can do that within an air-gapped environment, fully disconnected if you need to gather that information, pull it back later for further analysis. One of the new features in the Nozomi Network's Guardian is the Credentials Manager, and you'll need Credentials Manager to use Arc properly. So let's take a look at Credentials Manager. So we start off in Settings, and I'm using the new GUI here. If you're not familiar with it, um, check out some of our last videos. We've, we've taken a closer look at that. And here um, in the Settings, we have Credentials Manager. So you can see here I've built some credentials for devices that exist within my lab. Um, and it's really simple. You just add identity and go, I need an SSH identity. And we're just going to create a demo one here. Um, and we'll put in some Greek for that. Um, and give it... Um, an IP address. Add. That's it. Uh, and if you happen to use common credentials across a well, wide range, uh, across a, a subnet or something, um, you can just enter it that way. You can see how that works here. Hit save, bang, that now exists within our credentials. It's really simple. So the ones that I've created so far are Lab Ubuntu and my two um, SCADA, WinRM and 
things. Those are the ones we'll demo on, we'll demo on today. So if we want to use Arc with our Nozomi Networks Guardian or, or through Vantage, um, first thing, you've got to have it licensed. Okay, You have to have an Arc license. Um, and once it's licensed, you're going to see the Arc button appear on the navigation bar. So when we click this, it takes me to a page which tells me about all the endpoints in my network which might be suitable to run Arc on. Um, and it's basing that on the operating system information. Um, and you can see there's a lot of info here about, about the devices. And if I sort by deployed version, you can see I've already put Arc on a couple of devices within my lab here. And, um, and it, really, that's all there is to it. It's pretty simple. You, you install, you deploy, and we'll demo that shortly. You do the deployment, and then you start pulling information back. So we'll show the, D, the deployment, and then we'll come back and take a look at what sort of information we get um, when we have Arc in the system. So over here on the Lab Ubuntu VM, you can see that I've used the browser and I've connected to my Lab Guardian Center. The reason I'm doing this is this is a really easy way to download and deploy Arc. So as I said before, the, the Lab Center, it's got Arc installed. It's all licensed, ready to go. And I need to download a version here to this endpoint. So I go into Sensors. And we've got this download arc option, right? And if I click here and I select the, um, the Linux version that I need, it does the download. And you'll see it come up. There it is. So it's downloading nicely. And I've already downloaded this and unpacked it and, and all the things, you know. So for demo purposes, we'll just swap out of here. I'll drop into my terminal. So this has been unzipped and, uh, and copied to an appropriate directory. So... Using sudo, um, we just run the run the arc, arc um, executable. So now, here, okay, so there we go. Arc is now running as a service, right? Very, very simple. It's sitting there running. It's running continuously. There's a stop button there if I needed it. Um, this is what we see from Arc. Configuration-wise, we have to tell it where we're connecting to. So we've got to tell it the endpoint that it's connecting to and give it the um, synchronization token. Um, check connection there. Upstream parameters are correct. Hey, it's working. It's really quite simple. A couple of other things we want to tell it to do. Um, very, very easy. So this information's here. So what happens now back on the Guardian sensor? Let's see what we get. So I switch back to Guardian, and this is the page that we had open previously. So we'll close that out and come back in again and see what sort of information we've got. It's different now, okay? We're now seeing something very different. I've got vulnerabilities we've picked up. It's telling me that the source is Arc. So we've now got the operating system is correctly identified as Ubuntu Linux 2204, okay? We're still passive detection on the vendor. That's fine. Um, passive detection on these other, on the MAC address, but Lab Ubuntu's come up with an Arc detection now. So we're starting to flesh out. We're starting to see more and more information from our endpoint. So this time we're now looking at a Windows endpoint. And again, I'm, I'm connected to the Guardian sensor and I'm on the sensors page and you can see that downstream, um, we have two sensors connected on Arc. So you can see the Lab Ubuntu sensor, um, which on 5213, that's, that's what we're doing. And you can see my PC um, on 5254, which is a gateway out of the lab. So this PC is actually on a different subnet. But the point is, it's still working. Um, and it's, it's running fine. So on my PC here, let's take a look at how the Arc configuration is set up. So swap over to that tab. When you run Arc, um, depending on the platform you're running on, you get a, diff a slightly different status page. So we saw the Ubuntu one earlier. This is the Windows one. So you can see here there's some required dependencies. And this is part of the install of Arc. And you do have to plan this a little bit carefully as you go along. You need to have Sysmon in there. You need the PowerShell script block logging. You need USB PCAP. You need Win PCAP. Those things have to be there for Arc to do its job. Uh, you can see I've got it running here, running as a service. It, it's a wonderful thing. Go back to the sensor um, and let's take a look. And this time I want .20.2. 
Okay. But this is the details for, uh, for my PC. So now we can see the operating system has come through with the source of Arc. We have Arc is telling us that it's an ASUS system, and sure enough, it, it is an ASUS system. Still a passive detection on the Mac, not worried about that. Arc for the, um, for the host name. Arc for the uh, system product name. The type, computer, from Arc now. And serial numbers come from Arc. So because Arc is a, um, it's a more reliable source than passive detection, it's, it's querying the actual hardware and the operating system itself. So the information has a higher priority than the passive info did, and it will replace that within the database. But you can see here, there's 151 software um, software pieces installed on my PC. That's mostly games. Don't tell anyone. Um, you can see whether I have missing hotfixes. You can see that I have hotfixes installed. Um, you can still see there's some there's some alerts and things that are going on because this node is still not learned, and that's part of this demonstration. I I deleted it out of the Guardian so that we could do this properly. There's all kinds of information coming back, and this is really starting to be a well populated asset entry. If I close this page, shoot across to Arc, I can look at node points. So we, we've looked at this deployment. Actually, let's take a look at this really quickly. Hey, look, Ubuntu 2204 version 1.1 installed. So that's the um, that wasn't there earlier in the demo and in the video, right? So we, now we can see that the Ubuntu Linux has been added. If I jump over here to node points, I can pick on the three node points that we've got this installed on. So 213, yep, that was our Linux. And we can see the kind of information that we're pulling back. Um, so there's quite a bit there. There's, there's a lot there, right? Um, a lot of information coming back. Let's check out the Windows machine. Um, Windows machine, antivirus. It's telling me I'm running Defender. That's true. That's what I've got on there. Um, there's plenty of information here. Lots more than you'll pick up passively. So yeah. That's that's the simple demo for Arc um, in a nutshell. We can also run it on Mac OS. Um, I'm not demonstrating that today. It's just not quite set up right for that. But um, yeah, Linux, Windows, this is the bomb. This is you, you need Arc in your life. You really need Arc in your life, especially if you want to have highly accurate asset inventory information. Check it out. Okay, last part of the demo. Better not forget this bit. This bit is kind of cool. Um, you can see here, I'm looking at the Guardian again. I've got my alerts filtered by .20.2, which was my PC. What I'm going to do is stick a USB drive um, into this computer. So this is my, this is the USB flash drive that Sans gave me when I did my 515, ICS 515 course. So let's bang that in the hole. Go, okay. bang that in. Windows has said, oh, there's a USB drive. So it's ticking along. It'll pop up eventually. There it goes. There's the content in the USB drive. Just watch over here. Hey, look at that. Look at that. Alert, connected USB drive. A USB device has been connected to .20.2. It's most likely a human-driven event. That's fair. That's a fair assessment. Um, this is kind of cool because... We can take action on this alert, right? We can go, hey, why is someone inserting a USB drive on an endpoint that maybe shouldn't have a USB drive added to it? But this is something that you get through ARC. This is this is cool. Um, if you're working in an environment uh, where, you know, maybe it's not practical to put physical locks into the USB ports, maybe people do need to use USB devices from time to time. Maybe you don't have another software alternative um, for locking out or, or um, controlling USB use, right? This is an option that's available to you. I think this is pretty. Um, I think this is pretty pretty impressive myself. Very cool.